The note side chain is exactly like the audio side chain, only now you're using notes to trigger the movement that you set within the modulator. And then you can set the envelope to scale based on what you have coming in. So in this case, you can see we have some short notes and we have some long notes. The nice thing about this is you don't really have to worry about pre or post and you don't even need an instrument in here. You just need to have MIDI notes playing and that's what's going to be uh, making this react. So you can see we've already brought the note side chain in and we've set it to a lot of different things. So if I want to bring down the decay, you can see the impact that that has, but in this case you'd almost want some sustain if you were going to do that. And so on those longer notes, you can watch and see how it holds it before coming back down. But I like setting this with the drums so I can kind of lock it in where I like it. You could always go in and like add something else. And I might have this actually just control mix again. So let's add another one. We could actually even set then a slightly different envelope. this case, let's do something like this. There we go. kind of hard. I almost want to use that exact same envelope because it sounds a little bit weird otherwise. Remember, you can always then set your depth. And what then I may end up doing would be going in here, adding a chain. Maybe. <laughs> Sometimes I really have a tough time. I must have clicked cancel instead of OK. And then I would go and I would grab all three of these bring them in, and then with a macro control, I could go and I could actually have this going on to the depths of these two. Maybe I'd make it slightly different degrees. So we'd have that go pretty much all the way, and then this one just here. I'd even probably want some kind of a volume component working in this as well, where we had the note side chain actually bringing the volume of this back down. Um, and then if you actually did have a part playing in here, which we can just go ahead and play out this whole scenario, you'll eventually see how this would all kind of work. So let me just go and grab another instance of the note side chain. And I'm going to again have this set up to be instrument three. And then we're just going to route this straight to the gain on the chain like this, and then <laughs> I 
and let's see if we can find something. 